G'day, welcome back to the channel for a short video. Just a, a bit of a heads up, I will probably do a live stream on this because there's going to be a lot of questions and it's a really important topic and it's about remote ID. Now, when the DJI Avata was released, I said, I warned people that you're going to have to have your smartphone plugged into this, to the goggles in order to fly. Pretty soon, once the FAA starts enforcing the remote ID rule, you're going to have to have your smartphone plugged in or it won't arm. And a lot of people said, you're talking through a hole in your hat. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't even live in the USA. You shouldn't even be interested. That's not going to happen because remote ID doesn't come into effect until next year in, in September 2023. I tried to educate people. No, that's for the broadcast module remote ID. The standard broadcast remote ID, which requires the position of the operator to be broadcast, that comes into effect originally on the 16th of this year. And then the FAA pushed it out because nobody was ready to, until Eight days time, eight days from now that comes into effect, the FAA will be enforcing that rule. So DJI have no option but to force you to plug your smartphone into your goggles so that they can get a GPS coordinates for you, not just your drone, but you. There is no GPS in the goggles, there's no GPS in the transmitter on the Avata. They need your coordinates from somewhere and using the app on your smartphone is the only way they can get it. So I was right because the latest update for the Avata activates remote ID. They've got which because they've only got eight days to do that, activates remote ID and requires you to have your smartphone plugged in to your goggles. I was right. All the, all the people who said I don't know what I'm talking about, they were wrong. I expect a million and one apology emails in my mailbox sometime today from all those people who say, I'm terribly sorry, Bruce, you were right. I was wrong. What was I thinking? Anyway, but, but this is a heads up video because I'm going to do a live stream because this is going to, there's a lot of questions, obviously. A lot of people want to apologize on the stream. I'm sure they will. You know, people, they have a high integrity, the people that usually criticize me. Um, but I want to have a live stream so I can answer some of the questions, those that I can, and that we can discuss the whole future of the hobby because this is just the next step in that wedge I was talking about. Started with the revoc revocation of section 336, three, 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 the protection from regulation that we used to have in the hobby. Remember, the FAA were not allowed to regulate the hobby way back, and they threw that out. They cancelled section 336. Then we had registration. Then we had the trust exam. Now we've got remote ID. I'll talk about the next step, and it's not a pleasant step. And the reason that step is coming is because freedoms, privileges, and rights are like muscles. If you do not exercise them and use them and protect them, they atrophy away and disappear. This hobby has done a lousy job of protecting its freedom rights, freedoms, rights and privileges. And as a result, they are being eroded on an almost daily basis. I fear that future generations will not be able to enjoy the hobby as I and many, many millions of other people have done in the past. And that is a very sad thing. And it's all being done in the name, not of safety, not of progress money. We need to talk about it. We need to come up with strategies to address this. Otherwise, the hobby is lost. Might as well take up model railroads. There you go. So keep an eye out. If you're not subscribed, subscribe because then you get notification when I have the live, have the, uh, the live stream. Not sure exactly when, whatever, because my live streaming setup is crap, but I will set it up um, very, very shortly. It'd be in the next 24 hours anyway. So stay tuned and join in that live stream. You will not want to miss that. Thank you for watching. You can go to the comments now if you want to. See you later. Overregulation is like a tumor. It's killing a hobby. It must be terminated. Now!